Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing God of War 1 on God difficulty, and this is my guide and walkthrough. We're currently on part 36, the Cave of Madness. Um, so when you get into this cave section, you're going to have um, several sets of, of two of the archers, and um, m many of these fallen legionnaires, and also if you stay in this room, um, one of the elite minotaurs. What I think I'm going to do is I'm, go I'm going to... Um, leave this area I think um, oh no okay this is the point at which um, th this needs a lot of explanation um, but first I wanted to tell you that when you're using Orion's harpoon you m might not have known it but um, when you're when you're using it you could actually um, aim the enemy that you have on your chain um, towards other enemies to do collision damage um, and that's what I'm trying to show over here so I, I thought to myself um, why do a boring fight where I'm really safe and, and taking no damage when I can just get the job done quicker, maybe, you know, take some damage um, and, and be done with it? Because what happened was when I got to the, uh, the last checkpoint, which is above the rope, above the area where you swing down on the rope um, and the tre treasure chest, um, uh, I, I had to... Um, uh, go back and save it because I didn't. Um, I, I I was leaving the house for a long time and I didn't want anything go wrong with the console. So I went back and saved it. And then um, the game, the game uh, ordinarily would have given me a good checkpoint near this cave, but it gave me a shitty checkpoint way far back before you even turn those um, those movable platforms. Remember where we fought a couple of satyrs one at a time and then we we shot out those archers. And you had to rotate the uh, the bridge. It put me before that, so it was it, it was just too too much of running back and you know taking a sliver of damage and then resetting. It's just it got really um, just got annoying. So I, I don't mind taking damage when I can um, showcase something that I want to showcase, like the um, like the way these enemies these enemies see these whiffs too. That's what God of War Two fixed, um, but. Um, these enemies are so fucking fast. It's, and I, and you might say, well, are, is that a complaint? No, it's just an observation. They, they really, really are fast. Um, so remember, um, when they're doing any mo action, like, um, look, I'm getting owned up by, by, a, by an elite when they're when they're about when they're about to charge or charging or when they're just standing there roaring and taunting or when they're swinging you you can't bounce them so um, that is something that um, you need to be aware of because um, assuming that you can bounce one of these guys um, and then jumping up to grab him only to realize that he's not bounced and he's attacking is um, there's there's a good chance that you might take damage there even if you put your guard up or try to roll away um, and th they will armor through that move too that I just did sometimes it, it'll flip them a little bit but they they really like to armor through it um, so this is th this installment is going to take us up to the architect's tomb and there we go See what I was trying to do? I was trying to do a lot of run back to do that fight no damage and all, all I ended up doing was just spamming the, the triangle, triangle, triangle. And if you remember from earlier in the walkthrough, I said I don't like to do that. I'll do it if necessary, you know, if, if, if I inadvertently broke the checkpointing system. So it was, it was disappointing. But anyway, I'm going to put this puzzle in uh, fast forward. Um, you know what? When I was doing this puzzle, it occurred to me that um, what is this like the first puzzle in the game? It's it's really good because I don't um, I don't like everything about God of War. I don't I really don't like the puzzles. Um, I I know it kind of buffers the game and adds a little padding and depth, but I really I just don't like the puzzles, um, especially a puzzle like this where you can only move these blocks a certain speed, which is very slow. Um, and you can't even really kick them to get much distance from them either. So, 
Um, but that fight that we just did right there, that, that's a difficult fight because it's in a really enclosed area. And um, you could actually just bring the fight into this room if you like. Um, but yeah, definitely um, try out that um, the moving of the targets with Orion's Harpoon. Just press light heavy to bounce and then hold the O button and then move the analog stick towards any enemy that you want to deal collision damage to. It's really good for doing that. Um, anyway, now we have a save point over here and we're going to be doing some rock climbing. And um, the enemies that you're going to be dealing with on the, uh, on the faces of the cliff are going to be the Fallen Legionnaires. So um, there are some chests and things like that and I will show you the locations of everything. Um, I have the, the Hades magic all the way upgraded as well. And um, another thing I like about the, the Blade of Artemis is that it changes colors as you upgrade it. Um, I think you upgrade it three times, maybe, is it five times? I don't know, somewhere between three and five times. Um, and there's nothing over there to the left, by the way. So, um, I, I know that it's red at the end. I don't know what it's like in the middle of its upgrade cycle, but um, I, was, I was thinking about, because somebody suggested this to me once, of, of going through the game with the Blade of Artemis. Um, I don't know if I would want to. It, uh, personally, it's not a fun weapon to use, and I know there's probably people that are disappointed that I'm not using it, but I just don't find it fun to use. Um, so I thought that maybe if I tried to um, do a run where I just used it, I might learn to like it and learn to appreciate it more. Um, anyway, at the point I'm at now, you can go down or you can go up. If you want to go down, that's the way to go um, but we're gonna go up here to uh, get some chests um, and I'll also show you where the checkpoints exist in this chapter too um, quick ways to deal with these fallens is to stun them with the square button and then grab them it's a good way um, it's really it's really unfortunate that you can't slide down fast on on these sections that's the one thing that it uh, really needed um, but it just didn't it didn't happen I keep thinking about like why I'm so picky about games, why I'm so selective, and why this game is is so good to me, and why I love it so much, and why um, I'm, I'm literally like blinded by love for it. And I think it just has to do with. By the way, this is where the checkpoint is, right up here. If you want to know, um, I think it's the the just the basic fundamental. Just it's such a such a simple game and I'm using that word and I don't want it to be thought that it's a bad thing but um, sometimes the simplest things are are the best for everyone you know because there is a lot of um, advanced um, advanced like mechanics and everything that you don't see um, that are beneath the surface and um, you know, I would love to know all of those things. You know, I, I would love to, to have the knowledge of, of a big V, but um, I don't have it. Um, but I, I appreciate that um, on, on the, you know, ostensibly this is just a very simple game. And, um, oh, you know, I think you also get a checkpoint there too. Yeah, you get a checkpoint there. So those are the checkpoints if you're curious about what they are. See, like for instance here, you can't slide down quickly, but um, okay. So now we're gonna go back to where um, I a moment ago I said you can go up or down. Um, these um, these enemies are are pretty uh, pretty useless. You just have to know. Um, you know where their spawns are and they can be dealt with really easily I can't I can't understand why I didn't think you could hit down you know what I think in one of the PSP games when you're scaling stuff you can't hit down I think it would I think it's I think it's that because um, I know there's one of these games that you can't hit when you hit down anyway um, if you go over here to the left you can get a chest with some uh, some orbs and then when you fall down over here, 
you're going to be um, back in a familiar area. And um, we're going to do, I think, one closing fight before we get out of here. I really love this area. Personally, uh, Hades is my favorite area. Um, and it's not because of anything in particular about that area, but I just, I really find that area fun and intriguing. It doesn't have the greatest fights either, but it's, it has enough to, to justify its existence. Um, now, after you uh, do your platforming over here, you're, you're, there's going to be a cutscene, and then um, you're going to be dealing with some more of the Fallen and uh, two more Elites. And uh, try try um, chaining the uh, these smaller enemies and and moving them around a, a bit. It's really fun, um, and it's it's really nice to know that you're you're dealing damage in the process too. Um, but again, I cannot tell you how fast the enemy speed is in this game. Like the these elites, like it's so difficult to see attacks coming because they come out so so fast okay so this is that area that I mentioned yeah um, I could you could you after you play this game for a while you're gonna read these fallens and these legionnaires like like books that they always do that jumping attack and oh we we knocked somebody off that's nice there we go that Looks like it's going to be the end of the Cave of Madness. Uh, just remember to hold down the circle button when you're swinging on this so you can get more momentum. You've got to do um, a little bit of uh, swinging first to get over here. And then um, there is nothing to, uh, there are no hidden items over here. So just take the lift up and we're going to be heading on over to the, uh, the aforementioned Architect's Tomb. And... Um, now this is another area that I really like. It's got some fun fights. It's got, um, it's got one fight that I don't. I, I think it's kind of strange to put two enemies together like you're gonna see. But um, anyway, when you come over here, there's gonna be some coffins to smash, and I'm gonna see you guys in the 37th part. I want you to take care, and um, very much um, I appreciate very much uh, your patronage of my my walkthrough. Thank you very much for watching it. I hope it will help you do what you need to do. Take care.